fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday, the 21st of February, 2023. I hope you are keeping well. Uh, I am keeping reasonably well. Um, and uh, just thinking to myself, well, uh, whenever you get caught up in yourself and find yourself uh, ranting or moaning about um, inconsequential things, try to remember your own good fortune. And I know some people think they don't have any, but maybe you do if you consider it. If you are not in Turkey or Syria in one of the affected zones uh, where thousands of people have died, millions of people are displaced, and uh, now currently has just been hit by uh, uh, another couple of shocks uh, causing more damage, yet more damage and destruction. Um, just think uh, how lucky you are not to be in those in that particular situation or if you're not in a war uh, fighting for your life against an invading army. How lucky you are. I, I try to do this quite often to get things into perspective. Uh, nobody has a perfect life. Um, it doesn't exist, but you can be happier, I think, uh, if you consider all of the other uh, possibilities and do a bit of comparison of your own life. life. <coughs> okay, that's enough chat from me. We'll get on with the Guardian medium level game. Now, this is probably a very pretty easy game. Hopefully, you know the rules of Sudoku. If not, check out yesterday's game where I explained the rules, but... Uh, it's pretty basic, really. So you can see like the ones blocking across these rows and the one blocking up here, not allowing any other digit ones in these blue squares and allowing us only to place a one in that square, knowing that a one goes in that square. <coughs> you can see the ones as highlighted, blocking all of these blue squares, putting a one into that square. We'll have one blocking across here, across here end up here and we'll place our one there uh, we have one down here and down here and across here so here goes our one and I think there's just one more to get yep it looks to be the case there we go that's the final digit one um, Uh, okay, we have eight blocking these two squares here, and we have eight blocking this square. So in this column, the only place where an eight can go uh, will be there. Then we'll take that eight, say eight blocking across here and eight blocking down here. That puts an eight into that square. Um, don't think we can finish the eights yet. Um, but we've got 9 blocking this square and 9 blocking this square. We don't yet have a 9 in this column, so let's put the 9 here. And then we have 3 blocking this square, and we don't have a 3 in this column, so we'll put the 3 there and we'll finish with the 5 as the last number for that column. Let's see if anything else arose. Yes, it did. Now let's come back and look at these nines again. Nine across here and nine down here. So here's our nine. Then nine is going up to the top. Let's place a nine here. And nine down here, nine up here, and nine across here. There's a nine. And there's just one more nine to get, I think. Yes. Right. What else did we place? We placed a three down here. Any more info on the three yet? Um, not sure about that. Uh, let's have a quick look through the digits and see what we can see. We have twos in these squares and these squares here. Uh, we also have twos. OK, so two blocks up here. All right, we've got the two. Actually, I just say this two blocking this square here. So in this row. That's where our two goes. We'll finish off here with a seven. Seven blocking down here, up here, and across these two rows here puts a seven into that square there. Um, let's have a look at these twos. <coughs> okay, so 
The two blocking down here and across here means that two has to be in either this square or this square, right? So then that will block across here like this. And then this two blocking down here like that puts a two into that square. Um, all right, let's just go on our merry way, I think. No, let's not. Let's see what's missing from here. We're looking for a three, five, and eight. So we've got five blocking here and five blocking here. So that will be our five. Then we've got three blocking here. So that will put a three in that square. And then the eight will finish the column. Missing numbers up here are seven and eight. Can't get those just yet. Uh, but the seven will be useful because seven blocking down here and seven across here means that that has to be a seven. And then sevens across these two rows means that the seven fits neatly there. six blocks down here so that puts a six into that square we don't have a five in this row yet but this five blocks this square and this five blocks this square so Let's put our five there, then five going up to the top and five across puts a five in that square. And then we'll say five all the way to the bottom here gives us five in that square there. Only one number to get for this row. I think it's a four, so we'll put the four in. Uh, we can get this, can't we? Because we know what goes here because th we know this is seven and eight. So the remaining digits here uh, must be three and five. And then that means this has got to be an eight. Or it could have just said eight blocks all the way down here. If you think of it like that, it doesn't matter. There are different ways to play Sudoku and come up with the same answer. I promise you, you just do whichever way is convenient to you. And don't worry about uh, people complaining how you play the game. Uh, right. Um, let's see what else we can uh, check out. What's missing from these two squares? Two and three, we've got two blocking across here. There's the two and there's the three. Now this two will block up here and two blocking down here gives us two there. One number for this column. Uh, is it a six? I think it is. Okay, then we've got sixes blocking across these two rows like that. And that puts a six there. And the six blocking down here puts a six there. And six blocking up here and across here. I think this is going to finish them off. Yes, that was the last six. All right, so uh, we've got one digit to fill in here. This looks to be a four. We also need a four to finish this column. And uh, one number here to finish this. Um, three, I think it is. Okay. We've also got three blocking here, and that puts a three into that square there. And now we've got one empty space for a five. Five blocks across here. That will be our five. This will be our four. If you are brand new to the game of Sudoku and this looks a bit fast, just go back and watch again. I'm not doing anything difficult here uh, for anybody that's played the game a couple of times, but you could be brand new to the game, in which case it might seem a little bit tricky. Just rewind and go back again. We have two blocking across here as well. So that's our two, two blocking up here and across here. That's the final digit two one left for this column i think it's a seven seven then blocks across here and it gives us a seven in that square the last number to place here is an eight i guess we also need an eight up here 
the last number to place here is a three for this block three blocks across here there's the three and four finishes off today's guardian medium level puzzle thank you very much hopefully i'll be back with other games later but i am planning to go out today and have fun and that doesn't include playing sudoku bye bye